Yeah, guys, the scene is still taped off behind me here in downtown Phoenix, and we're learning that these underground vaults can be four feet high, uh, some of them standing several tiers and uh, big enough certainly to stand inside. I spoke to a local contractor tonight about the dangers of working in them. This is Matt Hall G. Getting a good look with a camera before setting foot inside an electrical vault. This is standard procedure for contractor Switch Electric. Miguel Garcia says every job starts with a search for potential hazards. If the vault's filled with water, um, if, if there's any uh, existing conditions uh, of, of the previous install that were kind of seem sketchy to us or don't look correct. Miguel says the video is then reviewed and an outage is scheduled to shut off power before crews go in. It goes through a, a, a lot of checks. Last night, APS electrician Ricardo Castillo was killed when a fire broke out in the manhole where he and a coworker were performing planned maintenance. APS investigating what went wrong. My first thought is, you know, it's a, it's a fellow construction worker, electrician, journeyman, field guy um, with, a, with a family and um, with people that um, expected him to, for him to come home that day. Miguel says his crews wear gear to protect them from burns. A set of overalls. They go through many hours of training and safety protocols, but the job is risky. Well, I mean, you're dealing with uh, high voltage as a current and um, it, anything can happen. Well, the folks at Switch Electric tell me they do everything they can to avoid working inside a live manhole, but this incident has been weighing on them. Miguel tells me that an email went out today to all of the employees uh, reminding them how important it is to do all of their safety precautions. Reporting live in downtown Phoenix, Carissa Planelp for Arizona's Family.